Uh, my name is Philip Jones. I do commercial music production for TV, film, and commercial work, and I also work part-time as an IT technician at the college. Uh, my name is Kate Warwick, and I'm a history student. And I'm Diane Leek. I work in publishing, uh, working on educational books for children. How did you guys got involved in the Gamelan in the first place? Oh, I guess I'll start. Um, I moved here from Los Angeles and uh, I recognized they were doing that at the Bates uh, the Instrument Museum. They were doing Gamelan. So uh, I went just to check it out to see how it was and that's kind of how it happened. It, it, I had heard about Gamelan. We had a Gamelan ensemble at the college that I went to, but I never uh, partook in it or was involved. So it was just an opportunity. That's how I got involved. Um, well, I'm a student at Oxford University, and I've been involved in like some music ensembles before. Like I sang in my college choir, uh, but I wanted basically to like try something different because I've been singing and sort of doing Anglican choral music all of my life, so I thought I'd try something different. Um, and I've been to Indonesia and, and seen Gamelan in Java, so I thought I'd have a go myself, basically. Um, I was born in Java, so I grew up hearing Javanese music, but I never played in a Gamelan uh, until I went uh, to um, university it, in Ann Arbor, Michigan, where there was a gamelan, and I played there for the year that I was there. And then I moved to England um, and moved to Oxford, where I always knew that there was a gamelan, but I, life got in the way, life got busy, I didn't have time um, to join, and, but eventually I did. And so it's very nice to be part of it now. If you could tell us your experience playing gamelan, um, that'd be great. Yeah. Th That'd be pretty easy to do. Um, I really enjoy playing gamelan, being a musician. Um, I do different types of music for different types of uh, projects, and gamelan has really expanded my uh, knowledge of music and, and kind of made me think outside of the box of music. You know, I'm steeped in a more Western type of instrumentation and, and tonal scheme, and, and uh, gamelan is different from that. And so there's that aspect of it, but another big aspect of Gamelan is the community. Like, it's people that I see every Wednesday and hang out with and, and kind of just, you know, laugh and joke around with, but also play music with and, and have a good time. So there's those two things, the music aspect and the community aspect are probably the, the main two for me. Um, well, I joined Gamelan about, well, nearly, nearly two years ago now, um, and... Yeah, it's like really changed my whole experience at university um, because for every week for three hours I come and do gamelan and it's very different environment to the rest of my life uh, in and out of Oxford libraries and going to tutorials and having quite a stressful uh, <laughs> time. So it's really great to come every like every every week to have three hours of calm and like music that I really love and made yeah made lots of friends as well. Gamelan. Um, and I find Gamelan a good way of staying in touch with my roots, um, my background, my family. As I say, even though I never played Gamelan, um, it, it was always around. And, um, and now in England, I, I have a busy British life and I've brought up two British children. Um, but Gamelan is the Indonesian part of me that I'm staying in touch with. How does Gamelan affect your life or your work, for example? Um. Yeah, Gamelan. It affects me. Um, well, it's something I can count on once a week, meeting with those people and, and kind of thinking in that, that idea. And, and also when I write music now, it gives me a whole other body of information to draw from. You know, um, Gamelan's totally different from anything I've ever really listened to, and in, in making that normal, it, it gives me a lot more, you know, tools in the toolbox of a musician. Instead of just thinking of these scales or this, that, and the other, you start thinking of, oh, this, this one thing that used to be 
outside of the box or, or that used to be strange to me is now not strange anymore. So there's that aspect. And then just, I guess, having that social thing has really made my life different. Um, yeah, well, I mean, similar, I don't um, compose music or anything like that, but I think Gamelin has taught me uh, quite a few different things because, I mean, as Phil was saying, it's a completely different method of music to the Western tradition in which I've been brought up. So it's been really good to be able to put myself completely in that sort of music and read a different style of notation and um, understand music that doesn't work with a conductor standing in front of you and telling you what to do um, and you know really be able to tune in and listen to particular instruments and I also I think what it's really useful for is um, having a particular sort of calm because I think to be able, like to be able to play gamelan well you have to uh, concentrate but not too much and also be able to completely relax your body and like sort of stay within the music and the moment you think about it too much or you lose concentration and your mind wanders off then you lose your place and you don't know where you are so like it's actually a really I think useful skill to be able to take to other walks of life. Mm -hmm. um, gamelan is the only music I play I don't play any western style instruments so it's nice um, to be able to make music at all and one of the really nice things about gamelan is how you can come in not as a musician and yet make music, um, collaborate with some very talented people, also collaborate, collaborate with other amateurs, collaborate with beginners and you're still making music and th that's really good. I think everyone appreciates that. And so you have composed a few music pieces? Yeah, I've never composed a gamelan piece, but yeah, I've definitely composed a lot of different types of genre music. Could you tell us um, how different it is, it is um, you know, playing Western from playing gamelan? It's like night and day. I mean, I mean, starting off with the instrumentation is just totally different. Just to think within these this set of of instruments, um, that's different. And then, um, how's it different? It's the way it's structured, the, the, the percussive nature of it and the rhythmic nature of it, the repetition versus the, the, the way that it climaxes and, and the different parts of the gamelan kind of have waves, you know, and they come in and they speed up and they slow down and then they, they fall into a groove and it's just kind of different than Western music. I mean, I'm sure some Western mu music does that type of stuff, but it just seems like the... The foundation of gamelan is, 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 is that type of interaction between percussion and tonality that, that both comes together at times and then also separates at times. And, 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 and that's really interesting to me. Would you like to add anything? Or maybe you have special experience since you've been playing gamelan? Um. Well, I, I guess one another sort of important aspect for me of uh, playing gamelan at Oxford is that I met some friends and uh, a couple of friends that I play gamelan with also play uh, traditional Irish and Scottish folk music. Uh, so now I formed a band with them, and <laughs> so gamelan's like enabled me to um, play like a different sort of music as well through meeting people. So, good. how about Dan? Um, well, another good thing about playing in with the Oxford Gamelan Society is. Uh, in performances or, or concerts and being able to share this culture with other people, intro introduce it to people who might have never heard of Gamelan before and I think it's a very nice introduction for them too. No, that's true. I'd re reiterate some of what Kate said too about the Zen nature, I know you didn't say Zen, but that, that, that state of um, concentration but relaxation while you're playing and, and focusing on the moment and not necessarily the music but but kind of the music and and that that's really important for me like and getting out of the trying to remain calm and, and relaxed and that that was pretty spot on I think 